Will Christians be here to suffer persecutions? Revelation. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. We are still doing a Bible study, still in the book of Revelation. Um, let us go to Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. <clears throat> this was addressed to the church in Smyrna. It reads, verse 10, Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. Verse 11. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. Okay, so there is a second death. Hallelujah. So with verse 10, the Lord here is encouraging us. You know, the Lord is saying, um, let us not be afraid. You know, the Bible is full of encouragement. You know, where the Lord will be encouraging the saints, saying, um, be courageous. Do not be afraid. There's this other scripture that I like to read concerning cowardice. It's Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. It reads, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderous, the sexually immoral. Can you imagine that the cowardly would be listed among these people? Those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. So the Lord is encouraging us. You know, the Bible is full of encouragement. Many times the Lord would say, be of good courage. Do not be afraid. I am with you, you know. So now here the Lord is saying, do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. Um, Regarding the rapture, do I believe in the rapture? Yes, I believe in the rapture. This is because of the dream that I had. Okay, I'll discuss that when we discuss the, the rapture. Okay, we're still going, we're still, we're still in... um. In Revelation chapter 2, we'll discuss that when we get to that, okay? So, yes, because of that dream and how the Lord explained things to me, yeah, I do believe in the rapture. And I had doubts. Yeah, I did have doubt. Um, my, my, my understanding was, like, why would the Lord let us suffer? But there was also that conflicting thought that by Jesus' disciples, also, he, he said that you will also drink of this cup of suffering, you know, so they also had to suffer. Most of them suffered the, the death of the cross and they were not even the Messiah. How's that? So I also had that thing in me that if the disciples of Jesus had to go through some hardships some persecutions for the gospel, chances are I might also have to, okay? But now verse 10 says, do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. Now, this was the Lord preparing the child, his children, preparing the saints for what was ahead. But now, depending on which country you are in, some people have been going through this. Okay, for in some countries, it's something that they've had to deal with. Okay, some have been born into this. Okay, so it says... Do not be afraid of what you're about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you. Here the Bible is also making us aware that the Lord has allowed it. It is written. It is written, meaning God has allowed it. He has okayed it. Okay. The Bible says that there's no leaf that falls to the ground that God does not know of. Okay. So how much does he love? How much does he love us? How much does he care for us if he cares about nature? If he cares about the plants and the animals, how much us who are made in his image. So God has allowed us. It is the same God that I will not allow you to be tempted above what you can bear. So no matter what we face, we know that we have it in us to fight. We have it in us to endure. We have it in us to conquer. So yes, there are people that will be put in prison, just like in other countries who are already going through persecutions, that people have always been put in prison. 
Okay. It's just a matter of when it will happen in your country. Okay. And just like in, uh, in many places, you know, whenever there's persecutions, people will go into hiding, people will run. So it's no exception. Okay. That is why some people end up leaving the, the, the places they were born, their hometown, their cities, their provinces, even their countries. Okay. And then, and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. And here the Bible lets us know that in our faith with the Lord, yeah, we will suffer persecutions. And persecutions comes in varying degrees. Just in our everyday life, we can be persecuted for being Christians in our place of work, in um, at school, you know, in the workplace, in your um, in your home, if you're the only saved one in your home, you know, in your community, you know. But the Lord encourages us to bear our cross. Okay, um, the kind of persecutions you could be going through is per perhaps ridicule, being ridiculed. Um, being made a mockery of being made fun of okay so it's a it's a it's a cross for us to bear and then it says but it says for 10 days with regards to the 10 days i'd like to go back to the um i know i'm going on ahead of myself but there's a there's a scripture that we'll also get to that speaks about um how we'll have to go through the sufferings for for three for what many interpret as three and a half years okay it's it's like seven it's a seven year period but then there's three there's going to be what the three and a half years of of tribulation okay i don't want to go too much into that and my my um my thoughts on that is that let us not be caught up with the dates and stuff like you cannot really be sure, like, when did the tribulation start? And you cannot be caught up in terms of the times. All we have to do is just to live every day working out our salvation. If you ever find ourselves going through the persecution, through the tribulation, then um, it is what it is. We'll just have to go through what we have to go through up until the Lord raptures us, okay? So, yes, I do make a distinct difference between the tribulation and the great tribulation. Okay, yeah, and in terms of the in terms of the great tribulation, yeah, okay, let me not get on ahead of myself, okay, so be faithful, even to the point of death. See now, we may be going through hardships, and we'll be like, God is gonna rapture us, God is gonna rapture us, but not everyone is gonna be raptured and well, well, you know, we can fantasize all we want about the rapture, but it's not everybody that's going to be raptured. Okay, there are people who are just going to lose their lives. Okay, due to different circumstances, whether it be um, weather conditions, you know, whether it be the flooding, the fire, the war, the fighting, the whatever, civil war, whatever that could be happening. Okay, and some could be killed. Okay. For, uh, for for Christ's sake, for the name of Jesus, okay, for the gospel. And then there will be some that will go through the persecutions. Like here, the Bible says, be faithful even to the point of death. So God is saying, you mustn't think that um, God is that God might just come at 5 to 12 to rescue us, 5 to 12 before our life is lost. No, the Lord has allowed it. It is okay. The Lord has granted that even our lives be laid down, you know, for the sake of the gospel. And the Bible says, for me, um, someone said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And that's what we should also say for ourselves and for our lives. And the Bible also says that no one will inherit the kingdom of God who loves his life more than he loves God, who loves his parents, children, or anything in the world more than he loves God. Therefore, we are but aliens in this world. There's nothing we should put um, too much in our hearts that we can't that we have a problem like laying our lives okay our lives down for the for the gospel for the kingdom of god so therefore be faithful even to the point of death and i will give you the crown of life so with regards to um anyone who might have that thing like i do not know if we have to go through persecutions if we have to go through sufferings the bible just clearly states here that yes 
there are there are people who go through persecutions and in terms of people let me use co the correct english there will be many people who go through through the persecutions some of them will be going into prison some of them will will face death so with regards to the rapture although there are not many people will be raptured but there are a lot who would have already been with the lord okay and still there are those who still make it into the kingdom of god who will be left the the church is still very much lukewarm okay the shakings that are just happening now is just to awaken us you know it's just to awaken us the the flooding and everything else is happening it's just the shaking that's just awaking us and judgment or no judgment we need to pray we need to pray in our prayer we even soften the blow we lessen the blow so let us not give up on our authority to pray you know prayer prayer does much the bible says that a prayer of a righteous man availeth much therefore let us not play down our prayers they really do a lot of damage in the kingdom of darkness so therefore let us not play down our prayers like our prayers are enough to soften the blow and to even make god to reconsider things you know whether it be that um a judgment is delayed or it is uh or the blow is softened okay so I hope that this answers someone's question who may be wondering, so now that I believe in the Lord Jesus, do I have to go through the suffering? I just read it. The Bible speaks about persecutions. Um, take the liberty to Google um, with the meaning of persecution to your own satisfaction. Okay, going into prison. Okay, and to the point of death. That's what the Bible says. So now... As far as rapture, as you can see, this is just the beginning of revelation. The Lord does not in any way address the revel the the rapture at this point. So the Lord lets us know that yeah, we are very much going to be around. And unfortunately, some people look at rapture as a way of escape. That they don't want to feel pain, they don't want to go through sufferings, they don't want to be inconvenienced. But it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So um, yeah. Thank you, guys. I hope you're blessed.